thousands of people. They're going to come to Atlanta for an event called DreamHack. It is an esports convention where gamers trying to break out in the esports world. And there are even a few championships with millions of dollars on the line. But as Alex Glaze tells us, these events aren't coming to Atlanta by chance. Today, the Atlanta Sports Council, the same group that brought the Super Bowl, Final Four, and National Championship to Atlanta, announced a new initiative with the esports community in hopes of bringing more of their events to this city. This weekend, 35,000 people will come to the Georgia World Congress Center for DreamHack Atlanta, and the Atlanta Sports Council is expecting that this is just the beginning of something major. Statewide, it's just hit $750 million uh, as an economic impact. Esports has been good for Georgia. It's a lot of money coming. In. But Georgia has also been good for esports. Georgia is really one of the first states to adopt video games as a varsity sport. That kind of relationship between gaming companies and Georgia gamers is the reason Atlanta ranks as one of the top cities in the country for gamers. And it's a big reason why DreamHack is coming back to Atlanta for a third straight year to host their three day event. And this year, the Atlanta Esports Alliance is expecting over 30,000 gamers to attend. We have the infrastructure already for traditional sports. We've got the world's busiest airport. We've got the best sporting venues uh, in the country. For traditional sports, that's a great formula. Uh, and in the case of esports, you really use those same assets for an esports event. The biggest gaming events in the world, I mean, they sell out the Staples Center. They sell out Madison Square Garden. I got to go to the World Finals for the game Fortnite. It was Arthur Ashe Stadium, right? 10,000 people. It's where the U.S. Open is played. 16-year-old kid wins 3 million bucks. And it was amazing. The only thing that would have made it better is if it was here in the hometown. The Atlanta Sports Council said it will still push for events like Super Bowls and Final Fours, obviously. But the esports events... It could happen on an annual basis, so it could continue to bring millions and millions into the city.